Hi, I'm Bill Roth with the Tech Marketing Group at Data Domain. I'm here to tell you about the value that Data Domain brings to net backup environments. Before Data Domain arrived on the scene, disaster recovery preparedness was based on making tape-based duplicates. To start this process, we would allocate a tape drive and do an initial backup. After the backup's complete, we would allocate two tape drives. We'd read the entire backup image off the first tape. We'd ship it through the net backup media server and write it out to the destination tape. Once the duplication process was complete, we'd eject the tape media from the tape library, pack them up in steel lock boxes, inventory the lock boxes, taking to the shipping dock, and move them into a truck. Once they were in the truck, they got transported to a disaster recovery facility. That's all changed with Data Domain. Let's talk about how Data Domain can introduce best practice solutions for disaster recovery with net backup. First off, instead of allocating tape devices, we allocate a disk pool in a Data Domain system and do an initial backup. After the initial backup's complete, we do what's called optimized duplication. Optimized duplication occurs under the direct control of net backup. The duplicate is cataloged by net backup, and net backup can be used to monitor optimized duplication progress and also report on optimized duplication. This is collectively known as open storage. Other benefits to open storage include the ability to perform optimized duplication in either direction. It can also be done simultaneously in both directions. Additionally, if you had multiple disaster recovery sites, you could fan out from one source data domain system to multiple data domain systems. Likewise, there's also a fan-in capability where multiple smaller remote sites could all perform optimized duplication to a centralized data domain system. It's also possible to have different retention periods on each copy of the backup image. Again, this is open storage from data domain. If we take a look at the key benefits that this solution brings to the table, data domain and semantic net backup, open storage, we're looking at a faster time to recovery. We don't need to create tape-based duplicates, and we don't need to ship them off-site. We have duplicate backup images available at the DR site faster. We have less administrative overhead in that we don't have to pull physical cartridges out of tape libraries and put them in steel lock boxes. Likewise, we have better security because this tape media isn't going to disappear while it's in transit on a third party truck. It won't fall off the truck. There is no truck. At the end of the day, we have a lower total cost of ownership with this solution. For more information about using data domain in semantic net backup environments, visit our website.